This all started with Mr. Marvani and myself meeting Oda Sensei and Suzuki Sensei at the Kodakon this year. My name is Toshikazu Okada. I was born in 1935. I started judo in 1948. And then I entered high school. Uh, I studied judo besides of study. And then 1951, I entered university and I met Oda Tsunetane at uh, judo club. I studied nearly two years and then Oda Tsunetane went to Europe to play judo in uh, Italy, England, Germany, uh, Netherlands. When she returned to Tokyo, uh, before seven days die, I was uh, shocked, but I continued Oda's instruction. She was very kind and he taught me many techniques choking amber holdings uh, not available on the books just secret techniques Odatsunetane was nice and in judo he was a student of Yokoyama Sakujiro. Yokoyama Sakujiro was a Jiu-Jitsu instructor and uh, he taught to Newaza very honestly to Oda Tsunetane. Oda Tsunetane uh, was interested in not, not only Sunday, he was very interested in Newaza. He started 1910 Kosen Judo. Kosen Judo means high school and special school. And continuously until 1943, every year, uh, young student fought uh, for just victory flag. After the war, uh, Kosen Judo not available, but eight university started Nevada tournament. Not 3,000 schools, only eight schools. Uh, recently, uh, Nevada is uh, uh, recognized by the people, and in Kodokan, uh, originally 10% uh, Nevada and 90% but recently, children's judo, 50% uh, in Tachiwaza, 50% Nyaza, as Oda Tsunetane said.
Here's a scene of Oda and myself relaxing after having dinner at his home. He treated me like a son, often suggesting that I do other things in Japan besides judo. In his day, he was considered the greatest Nawaza technician in Japan, if not the world. He often traveled to Europe showing his methods. Oda had developed a very comprehensive Nawaza system, which is the basis for teaching Nawaza today. He was an absolute genius at developing traps to go into arm bars and chokes. Oda described Nawaza as being more like a hibby or snake. You coiled around your opponent, controlling him, moving slowly from one position to another. He had a unique method of holding the gi, where he'd fold the material into the palm of his hand, thereby keeping a tight control and also being able to walk from one position to another with his hands. In 1953, this distinguished group of 9th and 10th Dons met. Kawakami 9th, Oda 9th, Izuka 10th, Samura 10th, Distinguished Mifune 10th. This gentleman's unknown to me. Koyasu 9th, and Sone 9th. I actually trained with most of these people. Again, Kawakami 9th, Oda 9th, Izuka 10th, Samura 10th, Mifune 10th, The Unknown 9th, Koyasu 9th, and Sone 9th. Now the Nawaza drills include stretching, judo forms, and sankaku. This is stretching. Stretching the th hips and the knees. Trying to bring your heel down against your buttocks. This is very good for aligning the thighs up in the hips and also the knees, stretching the ligaments there, laterally and horizontally. Here he pulls in on the feet. And, then, and bringing the feet together. Now rocking back and forth, holding his heel of his feet against his rear end. And this is another way to stretch. Pull it in, pull it in tight, bringing your heel against your rear. Now holding your shins and pulling against your heel, your rear. Now just kicking back and forth, attempting to kick yourself in the rear end. Try it. This is very difficult. Now rocking back and forth. This helps the abdominal muscles like a sit-up and stretching. Stretches the back here. Leans forward, stretches the back. Now throwing the legs back over the head is very important in judo. This is a good way to escape a hold. The people are holding the top of you. You bring your legs up and over the top. over the top and stretch. Now this is sort of like a drag race. Watch the wrists. Reaches out, pulls in, reaches out, pulls in. Now just stretching your neck, lie down, rotate your head from one side to the other. Now these are judo forms. You start in sort of a push-up position and step through. This is used for changing your position, going into Kesa Gatami or Ushiro Kesa Gatami. Now that's positioning your leg like we do in Kesa. That's another form for Kesa. This is a double frog used in Kami Shiho Gatami or Yoko Shiho Gatami, stretching from one side to the other in that position. 
and then your feet, the double frog, they can push to push your chest into the person. This is the form for katagatami. Holding your hand, gripping it, the palms together, one side, the other. Sometimes just catching the wrist, pulling in. One knee is in the side, the other leg is stretching out. That's a half frog. You notice the side that goes out crunches that side. So in crunching, this is very important. Now this is the form for Sankaku, the triangle hold. Sometimes we refer to this as a figure four with the legs. Put your ankle under the other, under the knee of the opposite leg. Back and forth. Then while in position, roll from one side to the other. Now here he is just stretching. Rolling and stretching. Entering between Uke's legs. Enter between the legs, spread the legs, control one leg against the side of your head, control the arm with your knee, grab the hand, pull it behind the back, reach through deep, and crunch. There's another view. Hooking the leg, keeping it against your head, controlling the arm, lifting the other leg up, pulling the arm behind the back, reach through very deep, catch the shoulder, and crunch. And another angle. Catching the leg against your head, pulling that arm tight behind the back, crunching and pulling the arm, which creates like an arm lock pain. And this variation will go between the legs and go into a choke, and finally into a crush and choke. Control the arm, cross choke, opponent taps here. Shoves the leg away. Drops in for a crush. Blocks, catches the leg, holds the collar, changes hands, in for a choke. Pulls the leg away, still holding the collar over the top, still choking. And now in slow motion. Spreads the legs, lifts the opponent's right leg, grabs his lapel, then comes in deeply for a cross choke. Leans against the leg, crushes, the opponent taps out. Now, he's going to release the leg, drop across the opponent, still choking, and crushing. And now for the use of the legs from the bottom while doing Rondori. In, grab his wrist, then his collar, kick his leg out, pull him, and roll him over. Catch the wrist, collar, push his hip away, Slide over the top for Tate Shiho. Then hook his leg, catch his wrist, turn him over. And here's a variation of fighting from the bottom. Rondori and Newaza. Opponent comes in from the top, hits the arm, come out from underneath, slide over the top, and an arm bar. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now, Rondori, from the bottom, turn him over. Rondori from the bottom, turn him over, forward, Tate Shiho with an arm bar. Rondori from the bottom, turn him over, forward, Tate Shiho with an arm bar. Rondori from the bottom, catches the arm, turns it over, Tate Shiho crush. This is a modified Osotogari for transitioning into Newaza. Sensei is showing you what a regular Osoto looks like. You take, yeah, right. You take a big step with your left, pick your foot up and go, okay? That's the regular. Okay. First step in the center with your right foot. Yeah. Pull the elbow into your stomach. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Slow motion. One. Pull the elbow into your stomach, push the shoulder back, yeah. two, yeah. and three. Yeah. One, two, three, and down into Newaza. Yeah. 
Tayo Toshi, the body drop. A throw and then transitioning into Neiwaza. Step back like Ouchigari, then apply Tayo Toshi. Drop into the hold. A fake Ouchi. Bring the leg across. Throw him in with Tayo Toshi. Keep controlling the opponent. Drop in, and there's a crunch hold right there. Kouchi Maki Komi, the small inner wraparound throw. Kouchi Maki. He pulls down with his right hand, then comes in and hooks. First, pull down hard with your right hand, right. Then shoot through for Kouchi Maki. Lift him up, and you're in. Through for Kouchi Maki. Lift him up. In slow motion, pull the left side down hard as he straightens up. Shoot your leg through, hook the leg, dive in, turning your back into him. Furui Otoshi, the swinging drop. This is a hand technique, excellent as a counter throw. Here the opponent tried to do Osotogari, was quickly thrown. Here it is in slow motion. Push up at the elbow, pull at the hand. Opponent attempts Osoto and is thrown. Tries Osoto, twists, knocks him down, pins him, crushes, crushes. Now, a little slower. Opponent starts Osoto, just hand action, throws him down, pins, crushes. Tayotoshi Gaishi, a counter to Tayotoshi. Step back, hook the foot, the capture of the arm, reaches down, presses on the shoulder, reaches here, pulls in, crunches. Go ahead. Controls the arm, reaches under the collar, squeezes. Harai Goshi Gaishi, a counter to Harai Goshi. As opponent to try Harai Goshi, kick out the back leg, drop down. Here's a Tate Shiho with a crunch. Again, opponent tries Harai Goshi, kick out the leg. Now a Yoko Shiho crunch. And in slow motion, opponent tries Harai Goshi, kick out the leg, sort of a Kosoto Gari. Drops down, he's going into a Yoko Shiho crunch. Reaches around the collar very deep, as deep as he can. Holds the shoulder with the other hand, squeezes in with a double frog. Kouchigari Gaishi, a counter throw. Counter Kouchi with Tani Otoshi sliding to the back. Then go into Yoko Shiho and crunch. Tani Otoshi against Kouchigari. Take the opponent back. Keep holding the opponent. All right, he holds him. Goes into position. Crunches. There's Tani Otoshi against Kouchi. Keeps holding. Keeping control all the time. Slides around. Brings his hand deep under the collar. And crunches. Ouchi Gari Gaishi. It's a counter to Ouchi. When the opponent picks his leg up to do Ouchi, but it's your hands. You just throw him over and go in for a crunch. Just a hand action. Turn him on his back. Now here it is in slow motion. The opponent's really on one leg when he lifts that leg. So with your hands, it's easy to throw them down, drop down on them, get a pin, and crunch. He's a Garuma Gaishi, counter to Hisa. As the opponent lifts his leg up, grab his leg, drive him down, control him with your right hand. Now your left hand comes in and chokes. Catch the leg, drive him back, 
Hold them into the mat hard with your right hand. Keep controlling the leg up against your shoulder. Your left hand comes into the collar for the choke. Kneel down, drive his leg into his chest as you choke. Uchimata Gaishi means a counter to Uchimata. As the opponent throws his leg back, step out of the way with your hands. Throw him on his back, drop down, get a pin and crunch. Turn a little bit out to the side with your hands. Throw him over. Keep controlling him with one hand. Now drop down into a pin and a crunch. Press against the face and get the crunch. Again, stepping out of the side with a hand action. Pull with one hand, push up with the elbow with the other in a circular action and throw him. Now slide in, come under the head, and crunch. Ashitori Otoshi. Leg push drop. This is from a standing position. Drop down, grab the ankle, push against the top of the thigh. From a kneeling position. Grab the ankle, push against the thigh. Now come in, control the leg against your shoulder, reach through and choke. Again, another shot of the thigh and leaning in and choking. Now in slow motion, you'll see in greater detail. Push against the top of the thigh, pull at the ankle. Hold the thigh, hook the leg up against your shoulder. Keep dropping in. Your left knee controls his arm. Your left hand is in against his throat, choking. And you drive his leg into his shoulder as you choke. Delta Randori in Nawaza. Leg over the top. Choke. Take down from a standing position. The opponent reaches for you, you grab his wrist, pull his arm up, the other hand on the elbow, step forward, drive down with the hand on the elbow. Lift up, push down, keep stepping forward, put a knee into the back, and there you have an arm lock. Lift up, catch the wrist, now pull him forward, you keep stepping in front of him, push down hard on the elbow, you lift up at the wrist. Lower your body with your legs, bring your knee into his back, lifting up at the wrist, pushing down at the elbow, and you have a lock. It's a close-up view of the hand action. Take down using Uday Kujiki. It's a downward arm pressure. As the opponent grips you, control his hand. Press on his forearm and take him down. Control his hand. Press on the forearm. That creates tremendous pain. Drive him down into the mat. And from there you can do a hold or an arm lock. Here he's going to do an arm lock. He keeps holding the sleeve, bends the arm over, and bends it back. In slow motion, capture his hand. Press down on the forearm. Drive him back, down, and watch. He keeps holding the hand. It's bent in there. Keeps holding that sleeve. Bends the arm over. Now with his body, presses against the elbow while he pushes in with the hand. And that's a lock. Turnover techniques. 
from a kneeling position, reach around, grab the belt, turn the opponent over, lean through, Tate Shiho. Now in slow motion, you grip your own belt around his head, turn him over, still gripping your own belt, come in forward for a crushing technique. Then step over the top for Tate Shiho, pressing against the arm and the head. And now for a variation. In this variation, step over, pick up the elbow, hook under the arm, figure for the arm, turn the opponent over, and you can do an arm bar there. Figure four, turn him over, lift up, and you have an arm bar. This variation is for the kids. In this case, we just grab the elbow from the outside, lift it up, pull it over, then go into a pin or crush. Turnover by gripping your own belt. Reach under the head, catch your belt, and turn over, come on top. Turnover with a reverse coil. Step over, hook the arm, figure four, do an ure garami reverse arm bar as you turn them over. Hook the arm, figure four, turn it in, turn them over. And now in slow motion, figure four, ure garami. Drive the arm behind his back, lean into the elbow, force him over onto his back while you're applying the arm bar. Leg escape and choke. This is an escape when the opponent figure four is your leg. Put the hand across him. Reach underneath, get your collar. Half sided choke. Your leg. All right. Then he reaches, pushes an arm against the head. Reaches underneath, catches the collar. Half sided. The leg is captured. Yeah. Push the hand there. He has a collar. Reaches underneath, feeds one collar into the other, and he has the grip. Pulls the lapel across, feeds the lapel into your hand, half choke. Now in slow motion, press your opponent's arm and lapel across his body. Reach around with your left arm, catch the lapel. Come behind the head with your right arm and choke. In this variation, you choke the opponent with his own arm and also lock the arm. It brings the arm over, catches the arm, bends in for an arm lock. One more time. Go, choke, hey, arm bar. Pull the opponent's arm across his neck, reach under his head, catch his arm, and a combination of choking, and as you press into the elbow, arm lock. In this variation, you choke the opponent with a Daka Jimmy. Okay, the opponent's on the bottom. Figure four is your leg. Comes under, like a Daka Jimmy. Lay over the opponent, 
Bring your hand under his neck and use a Daka Jime with the knuckle. In this variation, you use the Tate Shiho body crush. Escaping when your leg is captured. Stretch out. Slide up on the body like Tate Shiho. Put your hand deep behind his neck and do a body crush. This variation uses thigh pressure technique. The leg reaches down near the groin, inside the thigh. Good. In slow motion. Get your hand, press down right inside the thigh with your knuckles. Lean in real hard. Now we're going to practice body crushing drills. Oda Sensei had watched how a butcher had nailed an eel up against a board so that it couldn't do anything with the lower part of its body. And that's what this is. It's like an eel drill. You're the nail up against the side of the head. Use the side of the upper part of your body to crunch. Here it is from different positions. And your legs push. Here's the half frog which pushes against one side. And now Lo is showing us where the pressure is. Crushing while locking the arm. Lock the opponent's arm against your chest. Crush it against his chest. Do a half frog and a crushing action. And this shows the half frog crush against the head. Controlling by gripping the uke or opponent's lapel. Catch opponent's lapel, reach under his arm, grip your own belt, half frog for a crush. Then sit through Ushiro Kesa, another crush. Now come over the top, for Tate Shio, grip the pants, arm bar, another arm bar. And another arm bar. One more arm bar. Catch the opponent's lapel. Catch your own belt from behind. Half frog. Underneath, catch the opponent's lapel while you're in a tate shio position. Arm bar. Over the top again. Another arm bar. Another side, arm bar. Controlling opponent by gripping Tori's own lapel. Reach through, grab your lapel, reach in deep, catch there, spread. Reach through, catch your lapel, double frog, squeeze. Catch your lapel, reach very deep, squeeze. In slow motion, reach through as deep as you can. Now squeeze and press with the double frog legs. Look at that head crush. This is a variation. Here you reach through on the opposite side and grab your lapel. The other hand comes under the opponent's arm, grabs your belt, and now with a half frog you do a crush against the head. And sit through a Shiro Kesukatami. Another crush. Over the top for Tate Shiho, arm bar. Another arm bar. This variation, you lean forward, catch your own lapel, crush the other side, crush again. Now from Kesa Katami, reach underneath and catch your lapel. Your right knee's in the side 
and you're going to stretch forward. Sit through, crush again. Sit through, crush again. Now, leaning forward, you catch your lapel and spread forward. That crushes. Sitting here and crushing again. Reach through, catch the lapel, stretch forward. Sit through, casa tight. Now in slow motion. You come forward so you can catch your lapel. Stretch out with your hand and your leg. That starts tightening up on the neck. Sit through. Bring your leg through under the thigh and crush. Look at that face. Control gripping Tories belt or Ovi. Reaches under, catches his belt. Stretch out, Kuzure Kamishiho. Right. Okay. Underneath, catch your own Ovi. Stretch out, pressure. Now in slow motion, reach under the opponent's head, grab your Ovi, cinching the head. Your other arm comes under his arm and catches your belt from the other side. With a half a frog, you now squeeze and press against the head. Reach under, catch your Ovi, stretch out, sit through with Shirokesa. Now, over the top, still holding the Obi. Katishiho. Here's a freeze frame on gripping the Obi from under the head. Crushing in the half frog position. Stretch out. Sit through with Shirokesa. Now, over the tops, crushing in Tate Shiho. Counter to Kata Garuma by gripping your own belt. Gaishi, someone sticks his head under, catch your Obi, Osoto Gadi. In slow motion, as the opponent tries Kata Garuma, reach under the head, grab your belt, locking the head. Then doing an osotogari or twisting, throw him to the ground still controlling the head. Lean forward for a crush. Katagaruma gets his own obi, takes him down. Katagaruma Gaishi comes in, catches his belt, osoto. Kesa Gatami, the cross chest hold. This is the fundamental hold that we start with. Oda Sensei says we start with Kesa and everything ends with Kesa. Sensei showing the position, 90 degree bend in the legs. The back leg is used for support and here he's arching up for pressure. In this case, see how he has his leg back there for pushing? He's holding his own trousers and knee and he crunches against the opponent. Now he's going to put more pressure on, holding his own wrist. He's going to start to arch and lean into the head. There was, a, there was a crunch. He sits here, holds his leg, crunches again, holds tight, crunches hard. There we are. Now he grabs his trousers from the outside or from the inside and crunches against the side of the head. See how tight that space is? Now he pushes the elbow against the head shifts into katagatami, the shoulder hold, grabs his own wrist, that was another crunch. Now he's holding the shoulder and his wrist. This is a very tight crunch. Now he grabs his own jacket, still keeps the bend in the legs, thigh under there. Now entering, Notice he puts his thigh under the shoulder so the opponent cannot turn towards him then leans in and crunches, then leans forward, another crunch. It's back in position, goes into Kata Katami, grabs his own wrist, leans forward, squeezes. Here he turns the opponent over, the opponent was on the top, rolls him over, 
shifts in the case of Katami. Phi under the th under the shoulder, grabs his trousers, and holds. It's another shot of the opponent over the top, catches an elbow, pushes up on the other side, rolls the opponent over, and slides into position with his thigh under the shoulder. Kesa Katami escapes. Okay, in this first one, he twists the opponent, grabs the elbow, bridges, and rolls over. Then he goes into a crushing hold. Pushes the shoulder, pulls on the elbow, then cups the elbow with both hands, bridges, turns him over, comes in with a double frog, and crushes. Pushes, grabs the elbow, over the side, Arches, bridges, over the top, comes into Yokoshiho Gatami, and he crushes. Again, another view of this. With the twisting, catching the elbow, pulling him over, bridging, and crushing. There's a variation. Opponent has Kesa, pulls the elbow over the top, reaches around, catches the jacket, leg over the top, and strangles. Now here's another variation. In this case, we grab the belt, push to the right, then to the left. Now this is very important. He gets the belt with both hands, push to the right, then counter react and ro rotate to the left. Now another variation. In this case, like a Humpty Dumpty. You're just going to push the opponent back. You pull your legs out of the way. Pull, that, pull the back with one hand. Push the shoulder with the other. But your legs have to shift out of the way. Here's a view of that. He turns the legs out of the way and then sits up. Here's another Humpty Dumpty. In this case, he grabs his own trousers. This is just a still shot. Now, catches the shoulder, kicks up and down. Another Humpty Dumpty. Just kicks up and up and reverses. There he goes. And another variation. Now, this is the strangulation one, except he's going to hook the leg with his own leg, catches the collar, hooks the arm, and pulls him back and strangles him. Now, he pulls the, his head out from under the elbow, strangles, in slow motion. Gets out from under the elbow, hooks the arm, brings the leg over the top, reaches through, catches the lapel, pulls it across the neck, and arches. Ushiro Kesa Gatami, a rear Kesa. This way you're facing the opposite direction. Here he's holding the opponent's belt with his left hand, holding the elbow with the other, and he's crushing right up against the face. That's a crunch. Crunches again. Puts it under the arm. Arm bar. Now here's another variation. Now he holds his own lapel, holds the arm against his chest, catches the belt, leans back for an arm bar. Here it is in slow motion. Holds his own lapel, the arm is bent at an angle, presses back for an arm bar. It's also crunching at the same time. Now here's another variation. This is the standard Ushiro. He's got the arm here. But what he's doing, he's crunching against the head. Leans back, arches. Leans back again. Now he's going to shift into Tate Shiho. 
And it's, that's actually a little arm bar there. This is an escape from Oshiro Kesa Gatami. The opponent holds you in Oshiro Kesa. Put your hands on the back, push them forward, bridge and roll, and into a hold. Hands on the back, bridge, push them forward, reverse, and into a hold and a crunch. Push them forward, bridge, into a crunch. This is in slow motion. Your hands behind the back, push them forward, counter reaction, bridge, turn them over, squeeze hard into the head for a crunch. Katagatami, the shoulder hold. We're starting off with a variant. The Tori had been in Kesagatami pushes the opponent's arm across his head and squeezes tight and that was a crush and does a little bit of an arm bar pushes against and crushes again now grabs his own wrist leans forward crushes with his right knee into the side the other leg extended this is an escape from katagatami we'll start out with the opponent holding you in katagatami grab your fist push it against the side of his head, sit up, put the arm under your leg, arm lock. Again, push against the head, hook the arm, turn him over, now catch that upper arm, arm lock. In slow motion, push against the head, swing to the side, pull him over the top, Now grab his arm, just as he breaks away there. Catch the wrist, push it back for an arm lock. This is a modified Yoko Shiho Gatami side four corner hold. In this case, he captures the arm with his leg, reaches in deep, catches the shoulder, and reaches in there and crunches. Here's another variation. Here he just reaches in very deep under the head, catches the shoulder, crunches. There's a close-up of it. Now in slow motion, reaches through very deep, catches the shoulder, uses his double frog leg to push, crunches against the side of the head. Now another variation. In this case, he's going to hold his own lapel, bends forward, re catches his own lapel, reaches through, catches the shoulder, right, and crunches. Here it is in slow motion. Bends forward, he has his own lapel, reaches as deep as he can with his left arm, catches the shoulder, pushes with his frog legs, and crunches. Squeeze. There we have it. Escape from Yoko Shiho Gatami. The opponent applies a classical Yoko Shiho holding your belt. You push his head away, bring your leg over the top, figure four, that's already hurting, then an arm bar, coil arm bar or a straight arm bar through the back. There's a the shoulder lock. Let's see this again. Push the head, hook, figure four. Shoulder lock, arm coil, now in slow motion, push the head, turn your hips to the side so you can bring your leg over the top, and a sankaku or figure four, that puts pressure on right there, take the arm, lift it up, that's a shoulder lock. Bend it to the back, and you now have an arm coil. Your arm goes around the elbow, bend the arm up, now 
a variation of this. This is choking. Hand in the neck, leg over the top. This is Kuzure Kami Shihogatami, modified upper four corner hold. In this case, your body is diagonal to the opponent's. Your left hand grips his belt, your right hand comes under his right hand and grips your belt. You do a half frog for pressure. Now, here, reach around, get your own belt, half frog for pressure. Makes the opponent give up. Now, here's a variation. Come around and grip your own belt. This is really tight around the neck. Catch your own arm around the other side. There. Half frog and pain. And another variation. Here you grab the belt from underneath with both hands and cross your wrists. Then pull in real tight that's a pin with a double frog. Single frog, look how it crushes the face. Here it is in slow motion. It's rolling over so you can see the, the hands on the belt. You try to cross your wrists. Then pull in real tight. That puts your chest against the opponent's. Here you are in a double frog position. Now as you go to a single frog, watch the pressure against the head. And another variation. Here we start out like Oshiro Kesa, hold the belt, take the arm, put it behind his back, catch the wrist, and that's an arm lock. Put it behind the back, pull the hand through behind his back, press half frog. Catching the arm, Putting it behind the back. That's an arm lock. Controlling the opponent with a double lapel holding. Yeah. Grab lapel. Spread it. Sit back. Put your chin. Squeeze in tight. Come around under the arm and grab your obi. and turn them over. Another way to turn them over, catch the lapels, just drop down, turn around, shinny your legs out, and you're into the hold. An escape from Kuzure Kami Shihogatami. The opponent has a hold here. Now with your left hand, reach over, catch your belt, swing around, now you had his, his whole head cinched, Half frog and look at the pressure on the head. Another view. Kick your legs over so you can get your hand there. Get the belt. Keep turning, turning, turning. Half frog pressure. Now a variation. Grab the belt. Pull one hand through, put it by the belly, turn the opponent over, and you're out. There's a slow motion view of this. Pull one hand under, put it by the stomach, push up, turn him over. Now, as you do a half frog, you inflict pain. Look at the head crush there, right under the armpit. Kami Shihogatami, the upper four corner hold. That's the standard way. Reach through, catch the belt. Legs bent like a double frog. Okay. Another variation. And he's squeezing against the face. Up high, bridge. Squeeze in against the head. Okay. Half a frog. 
One leg bent, one leg out, squeeze in. Stretch more. Opponent gives up. Kamik Shi Ho, catch the belt. Legs bent in. Squeeze, shinny up, press against the face. One leg out. Stretching. Rising. Escape from Kami Shihogatami. In the first case, we're going to be using Oda Sensei's Mantis Choke. One hand comes under the neck, leg comes over the top, and the other hands pull the leg down into the head. Now there's a close up, there's a freeze frame. There's the hand under the neck, foot over the top, right hand catches the foot, left hand catches the ankle, and there's a crush which chokes the opponent. Here it is in slow motion. Left hand's under the neck, foot comes over the top, right hand catches the foot, the left hand catches the ankle. And now a real close-up. There's the hand under the neck, right hand catches the foot, and left hand catches the ankle. There's a freeze frame showing you the positions. And now another variation. In this case, you're going to reach up and crush the opponent's head against you. You grab your own wrist and squeeze in. Over the top, catch your wrist. Swing your legs from one side to the other and use a half frog for the crush. Here's the slow motion. Grab your own wrist to squeeze. Bring your legs from one side to the other, creating an action and reaction. Now you turn your opponent over, they'll squeeze tight, do a half frog for pressure, and they'll give up. And another variation. This one is similar, except you're going to catch one arm in the bend of the arm. Your left arm catches a right in the bend, right arm bends back and you roll over the right arm. All right, again, you're going to go action and reaction by swinging your legs from one side to the other. And when you do the crush, you'll be in a half frog position. Swing one way, swing the other way, roll over the straight arm, crush to a half frog, squeeze in, and there's the pain. Tate Shihogatami, the vertical four corner hold. In this variation, Sensei starts from Yoko Shiho from the side, reaches over the shoulder around, captures the opponent's belt, and climbs over the top, putting his arms around the opponent's one arm, and that creates an arm bar. Pushes the arm up on one side of the neck. Still holding the belt with his left, and he catches the arm, and that becomes an arm lock. Now we can do it on the other side of the neck. One arm is under the elbow, right, catches the belt. Now as he comes forward, that really hurts the arm. Another view of the arm lock. This is in slow motion. As the belt comes forward, puts an arm under the elbow. Now this is a variation. In this case he goes under the opponent's neck and catches his own obi. This really crushes the neck. Then he reaches around, puts an arm under the, under the other arm and leans forward. Under the neck, catches his own obi, leans forward, starts to crush the head, reaches around, catches the other arm, and puts pressure on the elbow. Now another variation. This one, he grabs the opponent's arm and bends it around his neck like a lasso. So he's actually choking the opponent. Just pulls in on the wrist and chokes against the side and presses his head against the arm, which creates great pressure. 
Now slow motion. Catches the wrist, the lower or lower or fore, forearm. Squeezes, comes down with his head. And there it is. Another variation. This one, you grab your opponent's lapel. Then your arm is under the elbow and that creates an arm lock. Press forward. Now catch your own lapel. Press forward. In this one you're holding both the lap opponent's lapel and your own lapel. Press forward. And here's a freeze frame shot. He's gripping the opponent's lapel, comes around an arm under the elbow, which creates a uh, arm lock. Presses forward, and it's another arm lock. Escape from Tate Shiho Gatami. Under pushes under the armpit that way, and, and turns over with the leg. Tate Shiho, push under the arm. That way. Push under the elbow, lift up with the leg, and push. Gate from Tate Shiho. Kudi Eddie Jimmy, the sliding collar choke. Reach underneath, open the lapel, reach across, grab it, then turn the wrist and turn it. See, turn the wrist. See that? Reach across, grab, turn the wrist. And that's key. Turn the wrist up. Now in slow motion. Pull down on one lapel, but when you choke, you twist your wrist and pull upward. Watch this twisting, it's critical. Twisting while you pull down on the opposite side. Now the grip. That's so pretty Right. And now you just lift the elbow and crunch in. Kataha Jime, single wing choke. Pull down like in Okuriari, bring around behind the back. That's the classic. Reach across, pull the, open the lapel. Catch the lapel, reach under, push behind the head, rotate. Open the opponent's left lapel with your left hand, then bring the right hand across, gripping under the neck. On your left hand, Opens the opponent's left arm, shoots behind the neck, and you choke by rotating your right wrist, pulling back. Here's a variation from a standing position. Catches the wrist, comes across the top, presses down, crosses the neck, behind. As the opponent cross grips your wrist, pull his arm across your body, reach around his head. Grab his lapel and come under his arm, cross over the top of the head, press down and choke. Pressing down on the arm, cross gripping across the neck. And here's a variation, bringing the opponent on his face and choking to the front. Kata Jime, catch the wrist, turn him on his face, step to the front. Catch it by the neck, the wrist, turn the opponent over, sit through. Open the collar with your left, bring your right hand across, catching the lapel across the throat, grab the wrist, 
turn him on his face, and step through in front, and lean into the back. In this variation, you hook the opponent's arm with your leg and stretch out. Cross, catch the neck, hook the leg, right, just catch the hand and just slide back. And say, good. Catch the collar, hook, catch here, right, slide down. Okay. Sensei, one more time. I got a close up. One more time. Right. Catch the arm. Right. And lean in. Right. In this variation, you choke by sitting out in front. Push the head. Grab the wrist. Pull the head up, then reach under. And sit through. Back in your top, push down. Right. Then lift the opponent up, grab the wrist, catch the neck. There he goes. This is a turnover using Kataha Jime. Kataha Jime. We catch the collar, then the hand comes under and catches the back of the neck. Kataha Jime. Right hand's cross grips the lapel. The left hand comes underneath on top of the head. Catch the lapel. The hand down. Back of the hand on the head. Choke. Now in slow motion, your right hand comes under the opponent's neck, cross grips the collar. Left hand goes under the arm with the back of your left hand against the back of the opponent's head. Once this is secured, you start to roll, drop your head down, pull over around the neck. Your right hand is choking while your left hand secures the opponent's right arm. In this variation, you grip your own lapel rather than back of the head. Cross grip around the neck. Underneath, grab your gi, go. Cross grip, and reach under with the other hand, and grab your own gi. Here's a freeze frame of the position. Here's turnover without choking. Technique is similar, except it's for the children without a choke. Right. So you bend down, grab the side of the lapel, lift it up, come underneath, put your back of your hand on his head, and just roll, and there's the pen. Good. Catch the lapel, the jacket down here. And under the arm, on the back of the head, roll and turn over. Kata Juji Jime. This is the half side cross choke. Cut the juji jime from a standing. Put the hand inside the collar, reach over the top, grab the shoulder, step back, pull in tight. Put the hand inside, reach over the back, step back and pull in. Now reaching in, over the back, catching the shoulder, pull in tight. Here's a variation from underneath. Reach in. Grab the shoulder, this is from the bottom, and the feet push. One second, reach in tight, over the shoulder, pull in tight. This is a variation from the top. Now, since he reaches in deep, 
catches the other collar, bends forward, the hand reaches in deep, the other hand grabs the shoulder, press forward. Hadaka Jimmy, the bare hand choke. Hadaka Jimmy from the back, step in forward, catch your hand, step back, and pull. Step in with your right, come across, step back, and pull. Okay, you're going to choke using the knuckle there. Okay. Get the knuckle into the throat, by the neck, pull back. Okay, one more time. Put your knuckle into the edge of the throat, pull back. This way you come across, all right, put your palm on your forearm, and choke. Using in that way, catching there, pulling in and cranking. The other's pulling the knuckle into the side of the head. Okay, Hadaka Jimmy. Catch both hands, crush by the side of the neck. Which side of the neck did he crush you on? Right there. Okay, one more time. Hadaka Jimmy, same one. Hadaka Jimmy, crush the side of the opponent's neck. Good. Okay, now, now, Sensei. Now, yeah, okay, now do this here. Pull back and crush. Okay, can you do it on the other side now? Other side, do this here. Yes. Hand by the ear. Good. All right, there's the knuckle. Good. Okay, one more, one more time. No, no, do a dart from the start, from the start. Take your hand off, take your hand off. Catch the hand, push in, crush. The hand holding, push down. Catch the hand, crush. Good. Sode Guruma, the sleeve wheel choke. Catch your own sleeve. Bring it under the throat and press. Catch your sleeve. Bring it underneath the neck and choke. This is the way Sensei grips his gi, two fingers in and two fingers out for Sode Guruma. Very good. And here's a variation from the top. Bring your hand underneath, catch your sleeve, slip it through the neck. Okay, one more time, please. Catch your sleeve, bring it through, neck. Just a minute. Catch your sleeve, bring through. Now in slow motion. You're catching your sleeve, bring the other hand up, across the front, against the neck, lean forward. Kote Shibori Jime. Wrist twisting choke. Reach under, cross grip, bring your hand over the top against the head and push down. Okay, left hand in the lapel. Yeah. All right. And he steps in, pushes the head down underneath. In slow motion, pull the opponent down by his lapel, come over the top of the head, drive your head through under the arm, and as you push, choke. And here's a variation from the bottom. Foot's in the hip, left hand has a lapel, right hand pushes the head through. Has the lapel, push the head down, and press with the feet. Tore Shibori Jibe, chicken twist choke. This is chicken Shibori, like a chicken wing. Very good, hold it. Catch across, catch the lapel, drag it back. Here is chicken shibori from the side. Reach across, knee in the back, pull back. This is a variation where you use your leg over the top. Of chicken shibori from the ground. Pull the opponent in. Chicken shibori, opponent sitting, reach over the top, pull back. Leg over, good. 
Now in slow motion, you've brought the lapel under his neck, cross choke from the back. Now you're going to bring your left leg over his shoulder to apply additional pressure as you choke. One hand chokes. Chokes from Kesa Katami. Catch the collar. Put the head over. Press. Grip the collar with your left hand. Bring your left foot over the top. Pull at the collar. Push with your hand. Well, the collar is another view of it. A choke against Yoko Shiho Gatami. It holds you with Yoko Shiho. First, he grabs the collar, pushes it away. Okay, Sensei, one more time. Catch the collar, your knuckle in there, bring a leg, and choke. One more time, Sensei. Where, where's your knuckle? Oh, right against the neck. There it is. Good. Grip the collar with your knuckle against the neck. Bring your body back so you have some clearance. To bring your leg over the head as you choke with the hand and push with your leg. Choke against Kuzure Kami Shiho Katami. Kami Shiho, catch the elbow, reach across, choke. Reach across under the neck with your left hand. Pull in on the elbow. Bring your left leg over the top. Crush with the leg and pull against the neck with the hand. This is another variation. Kuzure Kamishiho. Catch by the collar. Reach over the top. Right, catch the collar. Reach over the top. Put your hand against the collar under the neck. Bring your leg over the top. Push down with the leg and squeeze. In this variation, we use the mantis choke. Mantis holding. One hand under the neck, catch your own foot. Hand goes under the neck, over the top, catches his foot, hands there, pushes there, catches right. Putting his hand under my throat, bringing the leg over the top, and pulling his own leg down. Place your hand under the neck, palm forward. Bring your left foot over the top. Catch the foot with your right hand and your left hand. Both hands reach up, pull the foot down as you choke from underneath. Side front choke. From the side, grab the belt, reach underneath, get the collar. Half frog out. When you do that, you want to press your chest against the opponent's back. Half frog. One more time. Press down hard and half frog. Now you can do it just grabbing the side. Squeeze in tight. See the head right up against the back of the head there. In this variation, you want to choke slightly more to the front. Come here. And side leg. Catch the collar. Side leg. Catch the belt on the side. Slap out. Slap out. Right. Reaching under the neck and holding the belt or side. Now do a half frog, pressing down on the head. Jikoku Jime, the hell choke. Cross grip, turn the opponent's neck, hook the leg, that will become a leg lock. Reach over, catch the forearm, kick off, roll. The leg is locking the arm and the hand is choking. Reaches who catches the collar. Right. Figure four is the arm, grabs the elbow. 
and rolls. Right. He's choking. Right. That's good. Hooks the leg. Cross grips the neck. Rolls over. Holds the arm. This variation is similar, except you just flatten out. First cross grip. Hook the arm. Figure four that puts an arm lock. And lean over. Cross grip, pull the leg out, get an arm bar, choking, and holding the wrist. Ashi Osai, leg pressure. This is a leg pressure. Right. Figure four, and your thighs against the opponent's calf and squeezes it. There's another way. Reaches over, under, lifts up. Over, under, lifts up. Leg capture. Figure four is the calf, squeezes the calf. Now he's choking. From the bottom. Go. That's calf crushing. Head crushing at the same time. And arm bar. Arm bar. Arm bar. <laughs> While you're crushing down there. Bottom choke with the leg. Now, leg over the top. Grab your own foot. Pull down. Right. Good. Cross grip. Foot over the top. Grab your foot. Pull in. Right. Bottom choke with Sankaku. And in the collar, leg over the top, choke by Sankaku. Okay, well, one more time, Sensei. Reach through, catch the collar, figure four. Right. Cross grip, catch the collar, break the leg down, figure four. Right. Reaches under, here. Crosses the leg and then shoves the stomach up. This is important. Stomach up. Right. Top side rolling choke. Step over the top. Catch a lapel. Just lay down. Hook. Lay down. Both hands. Steps over. Grips the collar. Turn down, turn over, right. And now in slow motion, you have your hand around the neck, reach down, roll over, tightening around the neck, catch the arm and your own lapel, and stretch. Top front rolling choke. Straddle the opponent. Reach around, catch his collar, push down, step over, roll over. From another view, reach around, catch the collar, step over the front, roll. Step over the top, catch the collar, drop down. One more time, go ahead, Sensei. Foot over, catch your own. That's an arm bar. This is Kata Jime, a shoulder choke. Okay, one more time, Sensei. Turn the hand in. One more time. Turn in, 
full. And where's the pressure at? Okay. On the, uh, I think, artery. Okay. Drop the drain, drop All right. Over here. Sensei, again. Okay. And here's a slow motion view. Pull with your right hand and turn your left hand in tight against the throat. Ryote Jimmy, both hand choke. I do it again. Ryote. Leote Jimmy, squeezing both hands in. Right. One more time. Good. One more time, Sensei. Leote, squeezing in, turning, choking. Again. And in painful slow motion. Escape from Okuri Eddie Jimmy. Capture the opponent's arm, holding your own arm tight against your side, and turn to the side, throwing him over. Let's try that again. Opponent is in position for Okuri Eddie. Grab your own arm, clamp his arm against the side, and turn him over. Here it is in slow motion. Escape from Hadaka Jime. Grab the opponent's arm, hold it tight against your side, roll into him. There's a little wrist lock. Grab his arm tight, roll into him, turn around, crunch. Escape from Kata Juji Jime. Katha Juji, escape, put the hand through, right, alongside the head, and throw. Okay, one more time. Comes underneath, right, there, okay. Okay, just push the elbows and turn. Yeah, yeah. The one that the now. Right. Standing cross chest arm lock types. Mune, Gatami, Waki, Gatami, Ude Gatami, and Hara Gatami. Mune or chest Gatami. As the opponent reaches, pull his arm across your chest. Bend over, looking down at the opponent as you put the lock on. Press down and lift up at the wrist. Hara or stomach Gatami. Catch the arm, cross your stomach. In slow motion, pull the arm down, across your stomach. Keep looking at the opponent. Press down on the elbow and lift up on the wrist. Waki, under the armpit, Katami. As the opponent reaches for you, lift the arm, pull it across your chest, Putting the elbow under the armpit, lifting up at the wrist. Up, across, keep looking at the opponent as you do, do it. Push the arm up, pull it across your chest, place the elbow under the armpit, and lift up at the wrist. The opponent grabs you, snap his arm up, pull it across his chest, under the armpit, lift up. Ude elbow gatami. And this technique, you press down with your elbow on the opponent's elbow as you lift up with the wrist. Press down. Now we'll freeze frame it. 
You keep looking at the opponent as you press down with your elbow and lift up at the wrist. Ude Garami, a coil from the side. In this case, catch by the wrist, pull the arm down, look underneath. As you're pulling down, lean in with your chest. Again, come through. Just hold your hand in there. You don't have to figure four. Pull the wrist down and back. Lean in with the chest. Now a variation. In this case, we'll figure four with our arm. Pull down on the wrist. Bring your other arm through and catch your wrist. There we go. Figure four. Lean into the arm. Now take the arm forward. Pressing into it. Bring it behind the back. In slow motion. Lean in. That doesn't work. Bring the arm up. Behind the back. Figure four, your own arm. And twisting. Sitting through with the figure four with your arm. Run the arm back. Behind the back. Now you'll see a sequence of 12 arm blocks emanating from Kesa Gatami. This is holding. One arm bar, put it under your foot. Figure four, lock. Take the arm, put it under the other leg. Lock. Now bend the arm back, turn pulling the elbow up, and that's a crunch. Reach around, arm under your armpit, and lock. Pull it in, and that's a lock. Coil. Coil the other way. So that's a straight arm bar. And then coil back down. Lift up, pulse your arm behind the back. Ushiro Kesa Katami. Put your foot up high. <laughs> Haragatami. Hold the hand. Lean. Step forward. Lean into it. Then. Mistiri Gatami. Then. Juji Gatami. And now we do forearm locks from the bottom. And the first one, grab the wrist. Push his leg away, pull his head down, coil the arm. Now in slow motion, grab the wrist, your left leg goes over the head, your right leg pushes the hip away, bring him down, and coil the arm. Now for a variation. One lock from the bottom. One more lock. Catch the arm. Bring your leg over. Push him away. Arm bar. When he gets up, push him over. And you have Jujigatami. And now in slow motion. Catch the wrist. Bind the wrist by grabbing your own lapel. Push away with your right foot. Bring your left foot way over the top, under the opponent's chin, and arch and stretch. Now from this position, in case that doesn't lock and the opponent gets up, you can switch to Jujigatami. As the opponent rises, Lift his head up, put your other foot behind his knee, swing him over, and here you have Jujigatami, a cross arm lock. Ashigatami, the fourth lock from the bottom. The opponent grabs your belt, push him away, put the foot underneath, hold his wrist, grab his belt, and coil his arm. Push, 
Then how do you bend the arm? That's it. Lean forward and bend the arm with your leg. Right. Holds here. Pushes. Keeps holding the wrist. Keeps holding it and turns. And that wrist bends. And puts the pressure on the elbow. Hold here. Quick kick. Foot under. Bend the elbow by turning your own knee into him. And now in slow motion, hold the wrist, push the thighs away, start to sit up, put your leg under the opponent, right leg slides under, reach over, catch near the belt, pull in, pull up with your wrist, and turn your knee. Sankaku applications, yoko or side, Ura, backside, shta, bottom, my front, way upper. Yoko or side sankaku. Approaching from the side, step over, put one foot by the armpit, coil the arm, drop down, bring your legs through, lock your legs. Now there's a coil lock to the front, figure fouring the forearm. Then a pillow lock. Wrist against the head, push up on the elbow. Now we'll do a key lock. Coil the arm, bring the ovi over into your hand, the bottom of the gi, that secures the arm. Then reach through for a choke. Palm up, pull on the gi, press down with the knee for the choke. Now you can reach across the other side and do a coil lock. If you notice on this one, it catches the wrist and the top of the hand. Let's see that again. That's a lock, and one more time for good measure. Now he's going to release the arm and do a coil lock to the top of the arm. Catches the elbow, bends the arm, pulls on the wrist, pushes on the elbow. Now a straight arm bar on the opposite side. Catch the wrist and arch for the, for the lock. And now in slow motion, we'll see part of this. Drops down, has the arm, then does a coil lock to the front. Figure four is the forearm, presses down, lifts up at the elbow. Now a pillow lock. Hand under the elbow, press down with the head, lift up with your hands. Now a key lock, coming over the top, catching the belt, catch the bottom of the gi. Now reach through for the choke right after this. Palm up, reach by the neck, catch the gi, pull on that, and then press down with the thigh to secure the lock. And here's a variation for pinning the opponent. Kosankaku, without arm bars or chokes. Step over, pull with the arm, catch the belt, then turn on top of the body. Kosankaku. Switch. Stretch out. Entering from Uke's backside, we can now apply Sankaku and many arm bars. Three, four, lock the arm. All right. Now bend the arm, arm coil. Take the arm, get your own lapel, arm lock. Figure four, arm coil, straight, underneath, again. Hold your collar, pull back, figure four, lock the arm, back. What I got on me? Reach underneath. Choke. Arm bar. Under the arm. Arm bar again. What I got on me? Coil. Coil the other way. Hold it, hold it. Just like that. Choke. 
and in slow motion we show you the sankaku and a choke. See his right hand is by the collar. He catches the upper arm for an arm lock and he chokes at the same time. Shita Sankaku, that's where you do it from the bottom. Sankaku from Yokoshiho. Pull the elbow, push against the head, catch, figure four the head, and bar. There's another arm coil. Right. Okay, go ahead. Yokoshiho. Push against the neck, bring the leg over the top. Figure four, you have the arm, bring it up, bring it back into a coil, right, you cannot move the leg, right, right, wiggle back, catch the leg, push, pull, right, you cannot do it that way, so wiggle to the side, Pull through, pull the arm up, pull back, good. My Sankaku, it's from the front of the uke. Sankaku. Push the shoulder back, figure four, take the arm, arch your stomach. That's critical to this. See, nothing, just pulling. So you have to arch. Right, now turn side, pulls in here, pushes the shoulder, Sankaku, now watch the stomach arch. Slow motion, push the okay, shoulder away, look over the head, Sankaku, keep pulling, now arch to put the pressure on, watch the stomach come up. Way Sankaku, done from the upper part of the body, lifting the opponent up. Lift the opponent up, put your leg under his back, Sankaku, grab the arm, hold it against the neck, and lock. Way Sankaku. Catch the collar, step over, lift up, foot under, figure four, grab the arm, and lock. Lift the opponent up, shove your leg under his back, figure four, your legs, grab the arm, bring it against your your neck, cup the elbow, and lock. This is an escape from Yoko Sankaku. As the opponent steps over, hook around his ankle, push behind his knee, and turn him over, and crush the calf. There's another view. Catch the lower leg, push behind the knee, push him down, and crush his calf. Again, as he steps over, catch the lower leg, right behind the knee, and crush the calf. There's another view. Capture the ankle with your right arm, right in the crock. Push it against the, behind the knee, get him down. Keep your right hand against your left elbow, and with your left arm, crush the calf. Keep leaning into it hard. Feel the pressure right down here on the ankle, on the ankle and right up here below the knee. Ude Gaishi, the arm reverse. This is a sacrifice throw, ending with an arm lock. Reach under the armpit, grab the wrist, and step through. Now in slow motion, gripping under the armpit, break away the arm from your jacket. Grab the wrist and shoot your right leg all the way through the hole, falling down on your back. Throwing it over the top because of the pressure on the arm and locking the arm. Hold on to the armpit. So another view. Arm, grab the wrist. Step through. Stepping through. Locking the arm. This is what the arm lock looks like. Jujigatami cross arm lock by holding your own lapel. Grab your lapel to control the arm. Put your right leg under his shoulder like a brick. 
Right. In slow motion, control the arm with your lapel. And as you step over, your right leg goes under his shoulder, just like a brick. Pull back, arch. All right, arch again. Notice the position of your right leg, way deep under the shoulder. That really hurts the arm. Escape from Jujigatami. As your opponent hooks your arm, sit up, hook around his head, drive him back, pin him, and lock an arm. Here's another view. Your opponent hooks your arm. You sit up quickly, hook over his head, drive him back, and hook his arm. And here you can see the arm lock Sensei got as he turned him over. As the opponent hooks your arm, quickly sit up over his head, drive him back, and lock the other arm. Another angle. He hooks your arm quickly, turn him over, and lock his other arm. In this variation, you sit up controlling the opponent's leg and turn into an arm bar. Capture the opponent's hooking arm. Hold it in tight and lock the other arm as you turn through. Hook his arm tight, lift the leg up for pressure, and bend the other arm for a lock. And here's the pressure on the leg and the arm lock. Control the opponent's hooking arm, push him back, push the leg back, turn in, lock an arm. As the opponent throws his leg over, push his leg, keep controlling his hooking arm, and lock.